an exhibition of contemporary African art has gone on show at Cambridge University. The works belong to philanthropist Robert DeVoe. He's made it his mission to support artists in Africa struggling to make a living. Vanessa Cudderford went along to meet him. Inside this historic British institution lie very modern African artworks. They belong to the philanthropist Robert Deverux, who's been buying art for 40 years. His love of African art began more recently, in the mid-90s, on trips to Kenya and South Africa. He found talented artists there who lacked the support they needed to create work. It prompted him to invest nearly £5 million in setting up the African Arts Trust. I'd spent um, a lot of time in Africa um, engaging with artists and, and, and just seeing that the the, the difficulty involved in, in both being an artist but also that the organisations, the, the small number of organisations that there were to support them, how difficult it was for them to survive and to raise the money that they needed. I like to think I'm a collector anyhow because of, of support for artists uh, and this was just another way, you know, perhaps actually ultimately a more effective way of supporting artists. Some of these works are by artists who've benefited from the trust, others are simply pieces that Robert loves. This exhibition shows just 10% of his contemporary African collection. One of the things that um, I think a lot of the work in this show does is engage with, 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 the, sort of, with the political world. Um, I mean, there, some of the work is very obviously, some less obviously, but nevertheless quite vitally uh, engaged in politics. These works raise questions about the nature of corruption among elites. Here we see portraits of South Africans whose gender identity puts them in danger. Modern day slavery is examined too. These children are scavengers, selling waste cement. It exposes them to fatal lung disease for a wage of less than a dollar a day. This is only the fourth exhibition to be held in the new gallery space at Downing College, Cambridge. Robert Deverux was an undergraduate here in the 1970s. Now his collection is prompting discussion among a whole new generation of students. I've been just really pleased to see to show our students, actually, um, how their careers might develop and how much they can do with their own success. And this collection is built from Robert's success. Robert Deverux won't call himself a collector. He says the name suggests private hoarding. And he lives his values. This exhibition provides emerging artists from neglected parts of the world with a chance to show art lovers everywhere just what they've been missing. Vanessa Cudderford, TRT World, Cambridge.